hey, I know you come here for this kind of stuff. So I was sort of following this story that there was a big fireball over Europe. Uh, this, was, this was a couple of weeks ago. There was a big fireball, early March, end of February. It was, uh, was somewhere near the end of February. Oh, for fireball over UK three weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, it was a Sunday night. It was the 28th of February. Big fireball. It was seen across Europe. They did some modelling because they, they really thought um, after it faded out that, it, it, that some fragments might have continued travelling and landed somewhere in the UK. And I remember that they'd modelled that it was somewhere in Gloucestershire. A few nights ago, I was watching Mr. MB three 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 and uh he talked about this they only went and freaking found someone i say someone and according to this article that i just read a number of people found i think what happened was these little stones came and landed on people's drives and because the drives were like um tarmac or yeah usually tarmac isn't it just splatted like this but the meteor hunters, the meteorite hunters, were actually looking for complete stones. You know, they wanted the, the original things. And I remember that they were saying, if you go looking for these things, or if you find one of these things, don't put a magnet next to it because they'll actually use, I think that the, magnet, uh, the magnetism in, in the rock encodes some information that they can use. It was in, it was in Winchcombe, which was amazing for me because... Uh, once upon a time in the early 2000s, I had a couple of years where I was out on the road all the time as an insurance surveyor. And Winchcombe is in Gloucestershire. It's kind of between the M5 motorway and places like Stow on the Wold in the Cotswolds. And I used to sometimes go all the way down the M5, get off at um, Cheltenham, or get off near Cheltenham or Gloucester. And then I used to go across to Winchcombe and then across to, uh, I remember doing, I had Borton on the Water. I surveyed a shop in Borton on the Water and that was my job. I did that. And I used to love, I used to love driving around the Cotswolds. It was fabulous. And this town called, it's a little town or village uh, called Winchcombe. That's where people were finding this stuff splatting on their drive. And a load of meteorite hunters went out, scoured the fields and they found some. The big find, I'll put a link to this article. Mira's fragment, as we fondly started calling it, is a beautiful specimen weighing over 100 grams. On its surface, you can see marks from its passage through the Earth's atmosphere. The joy the whole team felt at the time was unmatched. We're all pretty certain this moment will be the highlight of our careers. If you live in the area, don't go into the area. Take a photo, get the GPS coordinates, don't pick it up, don't touch it with a magnet, wrap it in a malleon. Wrap it in umalium. Imalium <laughs> foil, aluminium foil. Uh, contact the Natural History Museum. Wow, that's how you do it. Um, but, um, oh yeah, if you do find a meteorite and it goes to the Natural History Museum, it will be part of a national collection archiving this historic event, including Mirror's fragment, more than 500 grams of the Winchcombe meteorite, as its official name will likely become, were found altogether. Oh, here we go. It's a bit more. Planetary scientists are excited because carbonaceous chondrites are packed full of organic molecules such as amino acids. Whoa! Mind blown. If you like this video, please like this video. If you're new here, please subscribe. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Barton on the water, a fire in the sky.